Hello everybody, uh, just again giving you a quick update on, uh, on what's going on in the Meathwick Road area. I think you can uh, play a fairly play to see what's happened, what's happening, uh, what, what hasn't happened should I say. Just on, uh, on my way now to meet Tim Farron up at the top, it's Saturday the 14th. Uh, we've heard nothing from the Environment Agency as far as coming down and making visits a concern to see what the situation is like. We've heard nothing from Natural England as far as coming down to the site to see what's going on. And the MMO is still waiting. We're still waiting for the MMO to get back to the golf course to give them permission to clean the culvert out, which would remedy this situation a great deal. I don't mind telling you, I'm 66 now, I've lived down here all my life and I've never seen anything like this before. It's absolutely, well it's just, just unbelievable. Um, as I say, on my way, it's half past one meeting with Tim Farron, Saturday the 14th. At least he's showing a little bit of interest. Uh, well, not a lot of interest actually. I think Tim will, uh, you know, he has been, he's been very hands-on in the past. Uh, been very vocal with correspondence backwards and forwards uh, but, but just like ourselves hitting a brick wall all the time these people don't seem to be able to see sense this for a month now the last update I gave you was uh, New Year's Eve New Year's Eve 2022 we're now on the 14th of, uh, of January situation a lot worse highways highways don't seem to be bothered about the road I think they've uh, made a big effort and come and put the road closed signs up which by the way we're here from the last time the road flooded they just put these signs up and don't even bother to come and pick them up again when the road is free but having said that I don't know when this road will be free again to be perfectly honest with you we forecast forecast a little bit better for next week uh, with lowish tides at the moment the tide for today is at half past three this afternoon when high tide is. I've just been down to the Winster now. The Winster does seem to be running fairly well, um, but still, it's got a lot of water to get rid of. This is the entrance to Mr. Scholes. Totally, totally impassable at the moment. Are the pump delivered. Last Saturday we put it in place for them, uh, donated by Network Rail who were quite concerned about the banking, rightly so as well, subsidence on the banking because this water is lapping up for quite a distance now at the bottom of the railway banking. Um, Network Rail as I say dropped the pump off, you can see it there, I don't think that's accessible anymore uh, to run. So whether that is running at the moment, I am not sure. 
people opening the, opening the culvert that we're arguing against. That would do the work of three pumps, four pumps probably, without any cost at all. Now what this is doing, Natural England tells us about habitat, what this is doing to the to local habitat, I haven't a clue. How many trees that the golf course will lose this summer because of this flooding? It's just unspeakable really. Anyway, thanks for your patience.